What's up guys? Today I want to show you something pretty cool. So in the past I've shown you some of the Olight gun mounted flashlights such as the Odin here. The Odin here is great for CQB, so point blank ranges. And ignoring the distance claims on the box, I find in practice it's great to about 50 to 75 meters maximum. And then there's this, the brand new Olight Odin Turbo. To be completely honest with you, I don't think this has any purpose on a gel blaster. In fact, even on a real steel firearm, the use case for this is very specific. Because this thing starts at around 50 meters being useful and goes all the way out to at least 700 meters from my testing. Today I want to change things up a little and we'll give you a comparison first and then I'll come back inside and give you an unboxing and overview. I've chosen the camera settings which best matched what my eye actually saw at the time. Let's start with an indoors test. So first up, here's the original Odin gun light. It has a very nice wide beam, perfect for up close. And now here's the Odin Turbo. As you can see, the beam is so tiny that up this close it's basically useless. And now here's each of them again with a human silhouette added. The original Odin. And now the new Odin Turbo. But now let's head outside to where the new Odin Turbo really shines. This first tree here is 30 meters away, and this is the original Odin first up. And now the Odin Turbo. When I stood next to this tree, this is how tall I was. So the Odin Turbo almost covers a human figure at 30 meters, but not quite. This next tree is 50 meters away, original Odin first, and now the Odin Turbo. At 50 meters, the Odin Turbo does cover a human figure. So this is about where I'd say the Odin Turbo becomes useful. This next one is a fence 100 meters away. This is where I can start to barely see the original Odin. Meanwhile, the Odin Turbo is still really bright. Next up, there's a hill I used my laser rangefinder to determine was 500 meters away from me. The original Odin is doing absolutely nothing here. Meanwhile, the Odin Turbo is lighting up the hill. With a magnified optic, you could definitely see anything that's up on that hill. Finally, this last hill is 700 meters away. To be expected, the original Odin does nothing here either, but the Odin Turbo is still lighting up the 700 meter hill. I can definitely spot some figures out there on the hill. With a magnified optic, you could definitely see what's out there. So that was my physical testing of the Odin Turbo versus the original Odin. A lot of you might not know this, but before I got into gel blasters, I actually used to do a bit of hunting, especially at night time. So we'd have one person holding a spotlight while the other shoots. And I can say right now, if we had this back then, both of us would have been shooting and none of us would have had a reason to hold a spotlight. I think it's truly amazing how far torches have come. So now let's unbox this and talk about how it works. So the Odin Turbo comes in Olight standard packaging with a magnetic flap. And as you open that up, you're greeted by a yellow warning message that just tells you to fully charge the torch before your first use. Removing that, you can see the torch itself is inside this nice foam cutout for protection. Not that it needs it because the O-lights are near indestructible. Let's take it out of the box and remove those tabs. So I've actually got a protective tab on the front of the lens to pull off. And unscrewing the tail cap will remove the tab that's insulating the battery. While I have the tail cap off, if you take a quick look, you can see it's O-ring sealed and it has an IPX8 waterproof rating. Taking the battery out, it's a proprietary 5000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery, which with that in there, allows you to recharge the torch externally. Take that foam padding out. I just wanna grab this small cardboard box here. Inside this box, you've got your magnetic charger. It simply attaches magnetically it's a nice and secure connection. And the other end is terminated in USB. So you can charge this at home where you charge your phone or out in the field with a battery pack. Also, when you are charging it, this will flash red when it's still charging 
and it will turn green when it's completely charged. To turn the light on, it only has one button, and that's at the rear on the tail cap. If you half press it, it'll give you 90 lumens, and then if you full press it, you get the full 330 lumens. If you press the button quickly, it'll stay on until you push it again and it'll turn off. Alternatively, you can do momentary on just by holding the button in, and as soon as you release it, the torch will turn off. Inside the same little box where the charging cable was, it comes with a Picatinny mount for the torch. It simply slots in, there's a rail there and a slot there. Line them up and it clicks in. It won't pull out until you click the quick release. And then you can just pull it straight out. If you're worried about that bumping on something and coming off, you can actually rotate that to a locked position so it won't push in. Also in the box, you get a magnetic tail switch. Much like the charging cable, this magnetic remote switch simply goes onto the tail cap. It's a nice and secure connection even without using this locking ring. But if you're worried about it coming off, just push the locking ring forward and now it's not going anywhere. The pressure pad itself simply friction fits onto any Picatinny rail. You could also remove it out of that holder and just use zip ties if you don't have Picatinny rail. On the topic of other rail types, you can also get different mounts for the torch such as an M-lock one, but those are sold separately. And also, while I've just noticed it, there's also a mount for the torch on the side. So depending on how your rail is set up, you can either have it on the side or on the top of this mounting bracket. I'll just quickly point out that while you're using the magnetic tail switch, you only have the one brightness level. And that's the full power 330 lumens. You do get the quick press to keep it on and turn it off again, or the momentary on by holding it down and releasing the second you want it to turn off. As usual on all of the marketing stuff, they say it lasts seven and a half hours, but that's actually only with the lowest of the two settings, so 90 lumens. If you want to use it at the full 330 lumen setting, you only get 30 minutes out of it, and then it drops down to 180 lumens for a further 150 minutes, and then it will drop down to 90 lumens for a further 30. I wouldn't say 30 minutes at the full brightness setting is too bad though. Most people are just going to use this in short bursts as they take their shots or scan for the next target. You're not going to leave it on for 30 minutes straight. Also, if this 330 lumen number seems pretty low to you, especially considering the original Odin does 2000 lumens, that's actually because this uses a completely different technology. So the numbers in lumens are pretty much irrelevant. The Odin Turbo is an LEP torch. According to Google, that means it's a laser excited phosphor. This is a class one white light laser, which is apparently eye safe, it gives it an extremely tight hotspot, long throw with no spill. Is there anything I've missed? Oh yeah, it's impact resistant to one and a half meters. Overall length is 155 mil with a bezel diameter of 31 mil and total weight of 249 grams. Regarding that impact resistance, I have actually chucked these onto concrete before from higher than one and a half meters. Never managed to break one before. So these are definitely very durable. Also on the box, they claim it goes to a maximum throw distance of just over one kilometer. I wouldn't doubt that claim to be honest. Uh, at 700 meters, it was still pretty bright shining back to me. So I think that's everything covered about the Olite Odin Turbo. I think it's a great innovation for nighttime shooting or hunting. Probably not so useful on a gel blaster, although the original Odin fills that role pretty well. It might be useful on airsoft at the longer ranges that they shoot at. If you want to pick up either of these though, check out olightstore.com.au where I've got a discount code that you can save some money and support my channel. They've actually agreed to give you 20% off with that code now. So go check them out if you want to get the long range Odin Turbo or the more CQB Odin Original. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.